We're here at Bendigo Stadium for the School Sport Australia Basketball Championships and I'm here with two little troopers. What's your name? Uh, Ollie Muir and Lenny Maxwell. Excellent. Now tell me what school do you boys go to? Uh, I go to St Paul's Anglican Grammar School and I go to Gisborne Primary School. Fantastic. Now we're here at Bendigo. Why are we here, Ollie? Um, because we made the SSV state team for basketball and we're representing Vic. That's right. So you're Team Vic and you're 12 years and under and you're here for basketball. Tell me what just happened, what just took place over there on court number three. Um, well, it wasn't very good. We ended up losing by two points. Uh, Should have won it, but uh, these things happen. It was, now that's right, but I don't know about the whole, it wasn't very good, it was an amazing game. Tell me, you came away with a two point loss, but what do you go home with? A silver medal. Fantastic, a silver medal, that's got to be worth something surely. Now, Ollie, we're talking to you too because just a couple of weeks ago, where were you and what you were, what were you competing in? Uh, I was competing in the state football as well. Uh, got a bronze medal there, but one up to here, but wanted the gold more than the silver. Yeah, that's pretty good, mate. Two medals in a month, that's pretty good, pretty darn good. Now, have you made any other Team Vic teams before? Uh, yeah, last year I made this exact basketball team, but obviously didn't do it because of COVID and all that, got cancelled. Right, so last year you were bottom age 12 and you came in this year as well. You got selected last year, it didn't happen, but you got selected this year and you competed. What's been a highlight for you this week? Uh, playing against some awesome competition and uh, bonding with all our teammates. If you were to take home something that's been a real highlight for you over the football and the basketball championships, what would the highlight be for you? Oh, definitely all the friend new friendships that I've made. I've just met so many new people, they've all been really nice. We've made heaps of new friends. I can see that because you boys are fantastic young men and I'm sure you've got heaps of friends. Now tell me, where do you hope to take your sport one day? If we fast forward five years from now, where are we going to see your name? Um, Hopefully, either in high school, uh, over in America, or college in America, trying to get drafted in the NBA, that's my main goal. Yeah. Really, what about you? Uh, either playing for the NBA, I want to go into the NBA, or play in this under 18 team. Now, how exciting is it to be back playing school sport? After a couple of years not playing, what was your reaction when we got back to doing it? Oh, it's just, it's just amazing, like, the atmosphere, like today in that, Match, we had a massive crowd. It was so good, they just steer you on. It's just it's amazing. I love it. What about you? Uh, yeah, the crowd was awesome. We had all the under 18s watching. We had like Queensland WA and we had all we had all the 18s cheering on Cheney Cross. It, I forget how great it was in 2019, similar stuff, you know, the same similar scenes, but that crowd out there today, there would have been five, six hundred people there, all cheering for Vic. It was quite amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was just incredible. Like, so many people, it just, it, you just keep keep going after that. After you hear the crowd chanting and everything, you just got to keep going. Boys, good luck for the future. I don't think this is the last time we're going to be seeing both of you. I think we're going to see your name in Team Vic again in maybe another sport or this sport, but good luck in the future and we'll see you again sometime. Cheers. Thank you.